I really think it's important for a Christian who's going to graduate school to, to be prepared. And I think the first thing they need to be prepared for, and this would be especially important if they've somehow come through a Christian college or a Christian university, is number one, be prepared. Your faith will be under attack. Uh, it will be under attack from the first class to the last class. When our kids went off to university, we sat them down and we said, your faith will be under attack, but don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to be afraid of any question because truth is truth. And you bring those questions home and we'll work through them together and we'll find out the answer. Now, we have done the research and we know the Bible's reliable. We know Jesus is true and reliable and real and historic. We know our faith is intact. So we're not afraid of questions. You bring them home and we'll work through it. But I think it's that first stage of be prepared, and then that incorporates the second part, uh, know how to defend your faith. And graduate school for Christians is a great time to learn how to defend their faith because it will be under attack in, from every angle in every class. So be prepared, learn how to defend your faith. And thirdly, I would say learn how to respond graciously to questions and objections. I want, I want Christian graduate students to remember that the people who are attacking the faith are ultimately not the enemy. They are captives of the real enemy. So we can't assume that just because somebody is violently against us as a Christian or what we believe that, ugh, we've got to be in combat and they're the Christian. No, we have to try to keep it in mind. And I'm not saying it's easy because I... I've gotten upset sometimes when people have, have attacked the faith. But to remember, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're not the enemy. They're not the enemy. They are captives of the enemy, simply mouthing words that he is giving them. So I need to respond to them patiently, love, clearly, firmly, to be sure, but with gentleness and with love. I think on the other side, it's important to stay connected in a local church that preaches the Bible, and that encourages you, preferably, in your educational work and lets you ask questions. A place that is stable in their confidence in the gospel. That they're not afraid the gospel superstructures are going to come tumbling down because of some question or some objection that some professor made. I think it's also important to get involved in a good student ministry on campus. Uh, preferably get involved in evangelism on their campus. Because when you're sharing Christ on your campus, where you're attending, it, it makes a difference in your boldness to not be ashamed of the gospel. And I think also maintaining the spiritual disciplines. There's no substitute. Because if we only focus on the apologetic issues, your faith can become merely cerebral. So I encourage graduate students, stay on your knees the daily discipline of prayer, the daily discipline of reading the Word of God, the daily discipline of solitude, of being quiet before God. Those are important. That's not legalism, and I'm hearing that some these days. Oh, that's so legalistic. Thank you, need to pray and read your Bible every day. Really? You think that's legalism? Look at me. I'm overweight. I'm a fat, 67-year-old, overweight guy. I like to eat. I eat at least three times a day. Oh, is that legalism? No, you want to know why I eat three times a day? Because I love food. I love food. And so it's not legalism to read the Bible and to pray every day. That is an appetite for truth, a passion for God, a zeal to know Him better. And if you're a student, you of all people are equipped to read the Word regularly and with a clear understanding to dig into it and it's and what it means and to then be able to teach that to others 